Francis Bacon's study for a head of Lucian Freud from 1967 is a very important work from his oeuvre. This relationship rivalry that uh, began in the late 40s between the two greatest figurative painters of the second half of the 20th century is really encapsulated in this series of paintings that, uh, that they made of each other. The relationship was always balanced in one way or the other. When Bacon first met Freud, he was the, the, grand, the grand artist. Freud was very much in his awe. But then as we develop through the 60s, Freud begins to get his own mature ground and he becomes stronger as a painter. And it's at that moment that their, their relationship flips in the late 60s, early 70s. And so you see this incredible intense body of work between both artists in between about 1964 and 1970, which coincides with some of Bacon's greatest paintings. This was painted in 1967, right in the middle of that period. After that, in the 70s, they really just drifted apart. So I think it's a, a very important moment of intense friendship, intense proximity, and that is conveyed in just these incredible series of brush strokes. What immediately strikes you is this kind of uh, really bold, quick movement uh, of Freud's head moving across the canvas. And the movement almost erodes his facial features. But what you have is this incredible um, profile and it is absolutely Freud's profile. It's, it could be nobody else. Bacon encapsulates that with a very, very quick sweep of the brush, which just shows how well he knows him. Throughout the painting, you have this incredible movement of, and texture. In parts of the painting, you see that he's used bits of his corduroy jacket and dabbed it with red paint and then put it onto the painting. So you have these kind of incredible moments of, of, of red paint with pattern on it. And in the background, what really makes this painting extraordinary is the background. This black stippled paint, it's thick, so it really feels like velvet. The combination of this visage, this, this profile, disappearing into this black void, makes this a really intense portrait of a physical being. The painting was first acquired by Roald Dahl in 1967 from the Marlborough Gallery and was with him throughout his life. For me, this painting has always really represented my grandfather. It was there in the sitting room for my whole childhood. This incredible flash of green and white and black, almost quite disturbing face looking down upon us. The genius of Dahl's writing is to really um, distill our existence into simple language that children can understand. And I think that in a way this, this portrait head is the most distinct portrayal of Lucian Freud's being that you could, you could ask for. I think it's a remarkable work because in a, in a very small space and with very little overtly distracting you, it communicates a huge amount. A huge amount about the darkness present in both of these men's lives and work, but also you know, emotionally, you can't help but be moved by it. 